And there's a free event in Jackson County this weekend designed to help raise money for veterans. News 3's Paul Wilcoxon tells us about Hope Stock. The whole mission here is to give hope to veterans. This weekend marks the second annual Hope Stock. Starting Friday, Hope Stock is a three-day event where veterans and community members can come, have fun, food, fellowship, and hope. Hope Stock is part of a fundraising effort to bring public awareness to a project near and dear to founder Brian Gibson's heart. We're working hard to get this facility up and running, and we need the community to get involved, whether it's volunteering or donating so we can cover the expenses. The facility will house up to 12 single veterans and two veterans and their families for up to a year. The goal is to also to provide services like job training and life skills to help those in need. It's to give them a safe, secure place for them to come and get back on their feet. Daniel and Michelle Faust are married and traveled from Delaware to be part of the event. They loaded their four kids in a vehicle and drove to Southern Illinois because they believe in the mission of Project Die Hard. I wish within the seven years of struggle we had, we had somebody like a Brian Gibson, and that's why I'm fighting. That's why we drove all the way here to help raise awareness for what he is doing. Gibson encourages everyone to come out and hear what Project Die Hard is about and its mission to help veterans. I want people to come out here and put their hands on the building, walk this property, and see what we're doing, and see that when they donate to us, it doesn't go to my wallet, it goes to the mission. Chris Tice is an inspirational speaker. He's here this weekend from Kansas to support the project. He was part of last year's event and says it's great when communities come together for a worthy cause. We had a great time. We really just felt the community involvement, the community vibe, and more importantly, what we can do to help our veterans. Jason Paul Dunn is an evangelist that has made the trip from Alabama. Supporting veterans and sharing the gospel are two passions he holds dearly. Now, if you can help one of your own that stood on the front line for you, I don't think you can sow a better place than helping somebody that allows you to get up every morning and be free because of them. Now, Brian says this project will take four phases to be completed. Now, to put into perspective how much money needs to be raised, he says phase one will cost more than $800,000. Reporting from Macanda, Paul Wilcoxon, News 3.